What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. This video is going to be looking at scanning, what it is, where you should scan, and how you should scan. And as a player, we're going to be looking at Messi and his examples of different situations that he scans in and the best moments to scan using him as a perfect example leading up to this World Cup final. Now before we get into it and the tactics and concepts behind scanning, check out both my books. There's links in the description below. I'm using Keyframe to make this video and I just came out with a new tactics course. If you want to check it out, it's in the description and let's get right into the video. So now a little context around the situation. So Messi is between the lines, the midfield and defensive lines that is, where he arrives many times and he's playing in the half space. That's the space between the wide area and the central corridor. So in this area, there's very little amount of space at times, making scanning and these little actions very important. So now the first aspect of scanning we'll look at, and in the, in the match, this sequence that I picked out, it is a five second sequence that has Messi scan five different times. So for every second that the ball is on this side and he's able to get the ball, he scans one scan every second. So now the first scan comes when the ball is traveling from one teammate to the next. So with this, we see the first area then when you should scan. So as we see Messi between the lines, Messi scans as the ball is traveling. So this is the perfect time to scan because once the ball is traveling to the destination, it's not contested. The ball isn't going to magically change direction. We know the player is going to receive the ball. So this is a cue to scan. So Messi scans a forward scan. He interprets the fullback and his help in behind and in the wide area. So this is the first scan, picking up the pocket and identifying where the space is. Now this could be different for players in different situations. For example, a deeper player, when he scans, he should look at the furthest possible option because he'll be able to perceive everything closer if he does look at the furthest possible option. But if he were to scan and just look at the players immediately in front of him, it would be very difficult for him to perceive anything beyond this point. So that is a little bit of context around the situation Messi's in, scanning the space around him and playing higher up the field, making the space around him much more important because it's more likely that he'll come under pressure. And as we define scanning, it'll simply be any time you look away from the ball during a match. So Messi's looking away, finding the space around the defenders between the lines, and more concern with the space directly around him because of the situation he is in between the lines. So now the next instance that we can scan, we can see that Messi is scanning again between the lines. Similar situation that he was in before. This is the same sequence now. And we'll continue to look at this one example before we move on and see our, our next example. So he's between the lines still in the half space. And now the player receiving the ball, the central defender for Argentina, he takes his first touch out in front of him. And I'll just isolate this box so we can see the ball. So the ball's out, out of his feet in front of him and now there's no chance that the player can magically play the ball because it's out of his feet. He had just received the ball so whenever the player touches the ball he should be looking at the ball carrier and where the ball is in case he passes it but with the player receiving the ball out of his feet that's another cue to scan. Messi identifies the space again scanning on his left shoulder and we'll see his teammates also doing the same thing. We see DePaul taking this cue and scanning as well. So DePaul's also taking the cue of the player receiving the ball outside his feet and DePaul is scanning the space as well and scanning the Croatian players and where the space is. So that brings us to our second moment. Well, now we've covered two so far. That's when the ball is traveling from one player to the next and the second being when the player receives the ball and takes his touch out of his feet. That's a cue for a player to scan. Now the third way that we're going to identify as a cue to scan will categorize this as the critical scan. So Messi is still our player of interest. He's in a little bit deeper role, which we can look at where he wants to scan now. And what a critical scan is, it's a scan that occurs while the ball is traveling from your teammate to you, the receiver. So by the ball traveling to Messi, it's about halfway. Messi takes this cue to scan. He, 
he's watching his teammate as the ball is played and makes contact, but then as soon as it leaves his foot, he takes the scan, perceives the furthest possible passing options for Messi, because as he looks higher up the field, he will at the same time be able to perceive the defensive players for Croatia closer around him, and he'll be able to see them coming. So in a deeper area, this is much more relevant to look at the furthest possible option. So by doing so, he's able to perceive the pressure coming and identify players in higher areas between the lines that he could play to, or if he comes under pressure, outlets are cut off, he can then always circulate the ball and maintain possession in different parts of the field. So those are three instances when we look at scanning and how Messi is a perfect example and player to watch on these moments because he's so good at scanning and he's so good technically that it makes scanning look very, very simple. And his timing of scans and his frequency of scanning is very, very good. So if you want a player to watch in the World Cup final to look at scanning, I highly recommend Messi because of his versatility, his ability to play higher up the field and drop deeper. So all these ideas around scanning will be implemented by just watching Messi. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the video and who you think will win the World Cup final on Sunday. And I'll see you in the next one.